Well, one thing that radio has done for all of us, of course, is open us up to close proximity to the great musical acts of our era. And up until the British invasion, it really was a Motown world. When you heard, you know, the Supremes come on, you cranked it up. The Temptations, you cranked it up. The Four Tops, you cranked it up. Motown music, absolutely crazy about that too. Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gaye. Motown is in our soul. The Temptations. It was just all about discovery. You know, back then I didn't even know the names of the bands a lot of times. The reason why I listened to the radio is because I wanted to hear songs that I couldn't hear. Hearing songs like that weren't on my turntable or my friend's turntable, that was the beautiful thing about radio. What I loved about radio as the average listener was it was just so cool to me that these guys would get on the radio, the concept of it, they got paid to listen to music give concert tickets away, go to concerts, interview famous people. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Put people on the air, get to go to all these cool places. I mean, to me, that seems cooler than being a movie star. Radio was the most instant means of reaching your audience. So you could be doing a broadcast from a bar, from the palace, or from someplace else, and instantly people are pulling in, running to the booth, and that kind of instant communication um, wasn't available in any other means besides radio.